and your husband's fortune. Soapnet. Every day, a new twist. Did I... Did I just hear what I thought I heard that you... You want to make me a I vampire? Want, no, I don't. I don't want to make you a vampire. I don't know. I don't wish that life on anyone, especially you. But you... But I... I don't know what else to do. And I would give you my life in a second. You know that, but I wouldn't change anything. I know you would. But I... A vampire? A vampire? Look at me. It would give us time. It would give us time to cure this, to, to find another one of those springs or, or, or some kind of ancient ritual, something. And it might take a hundred years, but I would find a cure. I promise you I would find something. Because that is the only way that I could save you. The only way that I could save the best part of me. Allison! Allison! Oh, come on, where are you? and come home to Joshua was time. What was that you were saying, Stephen, about Allison not wanting me? You don't know what you're saying. I know you don't. No, this is what I want. I want to be home with Joshua. I did the right thing by coming home tonight. If this is what you want, my sweetheart, then you did the right thing. There's no more else I could go. What'd you do to her? Do to her? Yeah. To get her to come back. Well, what can I tell you, my boy? It, uh, it must be love. Drugs. Uh, you were always good with chemicals. I had a lot of time on my hands when I was working for you. And oh, yes. This is still what you want, isn't it? You know it is. And I know this is killing you. The mighty Caleb Morley has underestimated me yet again. But I have to give you credit. That little mind game of yours, it almost worked. I almost didn't feel worthy to wear the precious Morley ring. But thankfully, my wife showed up. Ah, the power of love. But the ring will stay right where it is, right where it belongs. That ring will never be yours. It belongs to my family. It once did. Now it belongs to me. And I've actually grown rather attached to it. Much as I have to other things. So, if you will excuse us, please. We'd like some privacy. <laughs> You're right, Josh. I did underestimate you. I thought it only took a few weeks to bring you down. Looks like it's going to take a few more days after all. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh, you're going down. Not by you. Not as long as I have this on my finger. We'll see about that. Call ahead next time, won't you? We are newlyweds after all. Oh, my darling. I was so worried about you. I wasn't sure whether you'd ever come back. I couldn't stay away. It was time, wasn't it? Yes, it was time. Well, now that I'm back here, what would you like me to do for you? Mm, that's a very good question. What am I going to do with you? From Minnow. Where the hell is she? Alice, come on. 
You know, this carelessness of yours is starting to become a problem. You. I thought you might be here. Okay, where is she? What the hell did you do to her this time, huh? Easy, easy. I said, where is she? Where is she? She's with her husband, Joshua. No, I can't be. I got her out of there. Not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? I, I, I mean, I only left her alone for a minute. He, he couldn't have taken her. No, I, I never said that he did. Well, what are you saying? Joshua didn't have to take her. She waltzed right back into his arms like there was nowhere else in the world she'd rather be. You, uh, you're in trouble, pal. And so is Alice. You want to know what you can do for me? Yes, I want to please you if I can. I can think of a million things you could do, but why don't you pour me a drink? I'd like to celebrate your homecoming. Yes, of course. Would you like brandy or wine? Why did you surprise me? I trust you enjoyed your visit with Rafe. Yes, I did. Here's your Merlot. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Won't you join me? No. I already feel intoxicated. As do I. By your beauty. Here's to you, my darling. Welcome home. Thank you. It's good to be home. You really mean that, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm very proud of you. You've done much better than even I hoped. Have I? Yes. You've proven yourself worthy. Worthy of my love, worthy of my name, worthy of sharing my empire. But now, my darling, there's just one final test. Test what test? You've heard the saying, if you love something, set it free. And if it comes back to you, it's yours. And if it doesn't? It never was. I know it's a ridiculous expression, but, well, Part of me believes in it, so I want to put you, my darling, to the test. How? Well, very simply, my dear, you see. I've decided to let you go back to Rafe. Don't you see, if, if you were what I am, you could go on living until we find a cure. Go on living? Yeah. So that means I would get to stay with you? And I wouldn't have to leave my girls. I would get to keep on being their mom. One bite. That's all it takes, just one bite. Right, and then I would... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not for always, now look at me. Just for a little while, you know, until we find a cure, and then we'd be back to normal. How long would that be? I mean, how long before we'd be back? How long? The important thing is you'd be alive and you'd be a mother to your children, and... I'd be with you. What do you think? What, what kind of person would I be? You know, what kind of mother would I be if I was a vampire? I... You'd be the same wonderful mother you are now. We don't know that. No, we don't know that, but what's the alternative? I know. I know. And the thought of leaving you and leaving my girls is killing me, but I I don't think I can do that. I can't I I can't doom those sweet little faces to that world of darkness, that cursed world of shadows. I I couldn't do that. Only until we find a cure, you gotta, you know. What if there isn't what, what if there isn't really yeah, well, a cure? Of course there's and there has to be, right? There has to, has to be something. But what if there's not? If there is not a cure, that means I would be a vampire forever. So I would watch my children die, right? They would just grow old. And their children, and their children would just die. And I would go on and on without them. I, that would be the worst part. I couldn't do that. That is the worst part. Oh, my God. I'm so, no, I'm no, so no, I know no. I'm going on and on about me. I'm so... I think about it every day. What kind of a dive you come to my boy every day? Then what do you do? How are you doing this? How are you li how are you dealing with this at all? It's one day at a time. That's all I can do. I know. 
I'm just so sorry that this is what you got. I'm sorry that you didn't have a choice and you didn't have a say in what happened to you. You didn't get to choose. And I can, though, right? I mean, I, this is my choice and I can say what happens and I just, I can't do it. I can't choose that. I can't do it. No. But do you hear what I'm saying to you? I am actually telling you that I would rather die than live your life. It's all right, you know. It's not, it's not okay. I hate this. I hate that I can't do this. I can't choose that. I hate it. I would do almost anything not to leave you or those girls, but I can't live in the world if I know my children have to live in some vampire world. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... What are you sorry for? I wish I had your courage. I'm just a lost, last resort. I was trying to grab that straws, you know. It's the Irish way. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, it's no. Just being selfish. That's all I want. To spend more time with you. You're not selfish. You're not selfish to me. I know what you were doing. You were trying to give me hope. And you were trying to show me a way that I could go on and I wouldn't have to leave my babies. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> I love you more than you will ever know. But we have to face this. I do not have any more hope. There's no hope, not a, at least for me. <sighs> Listen to me, Just please. You have to promise me something. You have got to promise me that after I'm gone, listen to me, you have to promise that you will not give up and you will not let those, that you won't let them win, okay? How can I promise you that if I can't even imagine a life without you? You have to. Say the words. I want you to say it to me. You promise me you will not let them win. Yeah, I promise. No, no, stop. Promise me. Say it. Say it. Because you're Caleb Morley, and lying is as natural to you as breathing. Like denial is to you? Okay, so, so what do you tell me? Somebody, Allison, walked right in. She just walked right in, right there. I'm right into get, his right. arms. Okay, okay, and, and, and you just happened to be there? I was trying to get the ring back. Oh, yeah, of course, the ring. Yep. Well, Allison kind of had a shot. Josh was so blown away that she had left him. He was ready to lie down and die. Then she comes waltzing back in and blows it for me. As far as I know, she's still down there. I mean, what happened? Did Allison get a hold of the ring and you're keeping her hostage till she tells you where it is, huh? If Allison had my ring and I had Allison, would I be down here wasting my time with you? I don't know. I don't presume to know what goes on in a twisted mind of yours. I'm trying to tell you what happened, so maybe we can go down and do something about oh, yeah, it. Yeah, then why would you want to do that, huh? I mean, why are you suddenly being so helpful? For the same reason we started working together in the first place. Right. Right. Because you want the ring, right? You get the ring, and I get Allison. Well, guess what? I already had her, all right? She was here. She was right here. I had her in my arms, and she didn't want anything to do with that monster. She wouldn't go back there. Obviously, she changed her mind. No. <laughs> this is stupid. I can't even believe that I'm sitting here listening to you. Allison wouldn't choose Joshua over me, okay? Look at yourself. Your ego is so out of check, you can't see the truth even when it hits you right in the face. What, 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 what truth? What truth is that, huh? What truth? Allison going back to Joshua has nothing to do with you. He's done something to her. Drugged her or brainwashed her or hypnotized her, something to get her under his control. She, she just... She was out of it, but she, she, was, she was coming back. She was, she, she was coming back. She, she said she wanted to be here. She said she loved me. She, yeah, and you know what she said to him? She said it was time for her to come back home. No. No? Look, I tell you what, if I'm lying, we'll go down there and she won't be there. All right? And if she is, I'll help you get her back again. As long as I help you get the ring, right? 
You have your agenda, I have mine. So what do you say? You want to stand around here arguing some more? Well, let's go take back what's ours. I don't believe it. You're really letting me go back to Wraith? Yes, I am. Why? Oh, I don't know. Let's call it a kind of closure. Closure? Well, yes, much as it hurts me, I know how much you care about the boy, and I'm sure he's probably hurting pretty much around about now. He's probably wondering what happened to you, wondering where you are. Yes, I'm sure he is. Well, that's why you must go to him. I don't understand. You must reassure him that you're safe. Reassure him in any way that you can with your words and your kisses. Do whatever it takes. You mean... Yes. Don't hold anything back. I mean, how do I do that? I'm not sure that I know what to do anymore. I will help you. I'll help you every step of the way. Help me? How? I'm going to set your watch. And every time the alarm goes off, it's time for you to tell Rafe that you love him. You won't be angry with me? What did I just say? If you love something, you must set it free. I don't know how to ever thank you for giving me time with Rafe like this. The best way to thank me is just to keep this little arrangement strictly between ourselves. You don't want me to tell him? No, Rafe would never understand. I mean, at the very least, it would complicate things. And also, the last thing I want to do is cause any trouble between the two of you. You really do want what's best for me, don't you? I want to do whatever it takes to make you happy. That's why I'm saving the best instruction for last. What is it? When your alarm goes off for the last time, this is what I want you to do. already up. Start of a new day. Whole new beginning. That's what it was like, you know, falling in love with you. It was like a whole new beginning for me, like a whole new chance of being happy. Also me too. You know, this doesn't happen exactly like this, but you know, I mean, we, we may not have a lot of time together. But I think what we need to do is make every minute we have together count, right? I, I mean, starting today, I want to I want to make wonderful, amazing memories for you. That's that's what I want to leave you with. I don't want to leave you with sadness, no tears. I want to make you happy, just happy. That's okay. So can we do that? Starting today, can we do can we do that? Of course we can. I'll do anything you want. <gasps> now this is what I want. I want to be home with Joshua. I did the right thing by coming home. If this is what you want, my sweetheart, then you did the right thing. There's no more house I could go. Allison. Sun's up. Man, if we're gonna make a move, we should do it now. Okay, fine. I'll go with you, but if this turns out to be some kind of trick... No tricks. Joshua and Allison are together, you'll see for yourself. Did I hear someone mention my name? Right here. Yes, of course I'm, I'm back. I'm sorry, I just went out to get these. Flowers? Yeah, I just thought maybe if we were going to be here for a while that might want to make the place look a little bit homier. I think I'm going to be sick. So that's, that, that, that's where you were this whole time? Yeah. Fine. You went with Joshua. Joshua? 
I will leave here to go back to Joshua. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Desire. On the next Port Charles. I thought I could push you to sleep. Even though you knew that it would mean I'd get sent back up forever. That was the point. You were there. Are you deaf? She said she was nowhere near Joshua. She's lying. And you're a fool if you believe her. Get a daily dose of Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway on SoapNet. Tune in for Soap Talk weekdays at 9 a.m., 7 p.m., and again at 12 midnight. Three chances to catch the latest soap scoop and more. Soap Talk. It's that talk show only SoapNet can do.